Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about National Lipstick Day. Yes, apparently July 29th is the designated lipstick day. So I thought we could go ahead and celebrate this beautiful holiday by picking out my favorite Chanel lip colors. But before we get any further into the video, please take a second to grab your iced coffee or your hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go from lightest to darkest shades. I have some lip balm here, I have some makeup remover, so let's dive into the video. So the first color is relatively new. This is part of the new Rouge Coco Flash line. They used to be called Rouge Coco Shine and they just revamped the entire line. My personal favorite that I've picked out so far is number 82, Live or Live. It's a perfect nudie color, it goes with every look and the formula of these Rouge Coco Flash are so hydrating, you can use these as a lip balm. So as you can see, this is just that perfect nude. It's very hydrating. Obviously, this is not a long wear, long lasting formula, but I don't mind products that I have to reapply during the day because generally that makes it more comfortable to wear on the lips and you really don't even need a mirror. You can just go like that and add more color. It's just enough nude, just enough pink. It just gives a nice color and this goes with basically any makeup look, any outfit. It's one of those lipsticks that kind of just lives in my purse and I know that I can just slap it on on any occasion. So I love this one so much. Okay, so the next lipstick I'm going to talk about is arguably one of my favorite Chanel lipsticks or lip colors ever. This is part of the Rouge Coco line. This is number 440 Arthur. It is the perfect orangey red. It's very warm tone. Um, the Rouge Coco line was revamped a few years ago, I think maybe four or five years ago, and I think Arthur was one of the new colors that came out. It is absolutely stunning. I love this one so much. As you can see, there's very little left of the product. Um, I'm impressed that I haven't gone through the whole tube, but this is an item that I will definitely be repurchasing. So as you can tell, this formula is very creamy. It's a little bit less creamy than the Rouge Coco Flash, but it's still very hydrating. This formula is very, very comfortable to wear. Again, since it's not a matte color, it's not gonna be something you wear for eight hours, but it does hold up very, very well. It does need a little bit of touch-ups throughout the day, but this is one of my favorite formulas because it is so comfortable to wear, and this color in particular is so stunning. I love it so much. I cannot hype this one enough. 440 Arthur, it's beautiful. I love this one so much. I think if I had to only pick one Chanel lipstick, I would pick this one over any other lipstick out there. This is my favorite one ever. Okay, let's move on to the Rouge Allure. Now, these have a different packaging than the Rouge Coco. These are the ones that have that fabulous clicking mechanism. I love that so much. It makes me feel so fresh when I'm pulling this out of my purse and I can just go like that to get the lip color. So this one here is number 165. This is the Rouge Allure number 165 Eblouissant. This is a beautiful pink. So this pink is definitely not too flashy, but it is a really nice color. I love this in the spring. Sometimes I match it with like a pink eyeshadow. It's very pretty. I think this is a really nice, easy color to wear. If you want like more of a darker pink that kind of gets away from the nudie colors and that isn't too far into the berries, I think this shade is really nice. It's really easy to apply. So the Rouge Allure lipstick texture is a little bit less creamy and also a little bit less hydrating than the Rouge Coco. But if you are looking for a lipstick that has a bit more ability to stand up to eating and drinking and just lasting longer throughout the day, the Rouge Allure 
like lipstick line is really great because since they do have a little bit less moisture they do stay on the lips much longer you kind of have to decide what you're willing to give up like do you want something that you have to reapply more often or are you willing to put up with having drier lips it's up to you and as you can see this also does have a little bit of glossiness it's not as glossy as the wish coco flash or the wish coco but it does have some moisture there so let's move on to the rouge allure velvet number 72 infrarose so this has the same packaging as the Rouge Allure. Since these are a velvet texture, that means that they're a little bit more matte and a little bit more long wearing, but also a little bit more drying. So as you can see, this is much brighter than the previous pink. This is like a nice little pink popsicle, pink highlighter pink. It's very flashy, it's very nice. It's nice when you have a tan in the summer. It's a beautiful color. It definitely is more of an extreme pink, but every now and then you kind of need more of a punch of color. So this is the Rouge Allure Velvet, and as you can see as we're progressing, the lip color is looking less and less glossy, but even the Rouge Allure Velvet doesn't look super matte. As you can see, there is a little bit of sheen here. We're going to move on to the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme, and these are more matte. So now we're moving on to the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme number 114 Epitome. And as you can see, the packaging is different. The outside of the bullet is matte. It's to emphasize how matte this lipstick is. I, as a Chanel fanatic, really enjoy these little extra touches that they add to their packaging. This little added matte feature, I think is beautiful. So as you can see, this is a beautiful dark raspberry color. I love this. It's beautiful in the fall, winter, or really any season you want, really. And even though this is a Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme, you can still see that there's a little bit of shine here. It's not totally, completely matte, which I'm okay with because the more matte that a lipstick is, the less hydrating and the less comfortable it is after several hours of wear. And I am not a person who needs my lipstick to last on my lips for 10 hours. I'm totally okay with reapplying after lunch, you know? That being said, this does have a very nice wear because it is a Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme. It is more matte. It is less likely to fade away, less likely to transfer on glasses and food. It is a very nice long wearing lip color. I really love these sort of berry colors because they really make your smile look so white. I don't know if it's the blue in the lipstick, it kind of racks against the yellow in your teeth, but it makes your smile look so nice and bright. I love this sort of color. Okay, let's move on to a liquid lipstick. Now we have here the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink number 164 Enthusiasta. These came out a few years ago when the entire lip liquid lipstick trend became really popular. Chanel came out with these ones here, even though they already had a pre-existing liquid lipstick. Um, but this is a new, newish formula to the line, so let me go ahead and test this out. So as you can see, this is a beautiful bright orange red color. I love these types of colors. These are definitely in my wheelhouse. The formula is very comfortable because as you can see, when you're applying the liquid lip, you can go over top several times. You can smack your lips together. I feel like some liquid lipstick formulas, I don't know what it is, but if you put your lips together when they're so wet, they kind of peel off each other. It's very bizarre. This does not do that. It's quite comfortable now. As the day goes on, it's a liquid lipstick. It stops being super comfortable because it doesn't really have much moisture or hydration. It is pretty long wearing, but it's not the most long wearing liquid lipstick that Chanel has, but it is comfortable because as you can see, it still has a little bit of moisture left. I can still feel a little bit of hydration on my lips. It is drying down as we speak. It doesn't feel super dry right away. Okay, so last but not least, we have Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. So this is a liquid lipstick that has been around for quite some time. I thought it was funny when the liquid lipstick craze came around because Chanel has been making these for a very, very long time. And they've always been marketed as the long wear lipstick, but then when the liquid lipstick trend came around they came out with these ones here to capitalize on it but i just thought it was funny because they've always had liquid lipsticks they've just been marketed as something different anyway i have the shade here called daring red so i'm going to go ahead and try this out for you guys
So this one here dries down matte very quickly. It also feels a little bit sticky right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the gloss part of the duo here. So the purpose of this lipstick here is to be as long lasting and long wearing as possible. I've done a full day wear test with this. It does stand up very, very well. It holds up to eating, drinking, just living your life, but it does feel drying because it is so matte. The gloss part is very important to reapply just to feel more comfortable throughout the day. But if you want something that's going to withstand your entire life, this formula here, like Le Rouge Duo Tenue Ultra, these ones are fantastic. I think just in general with lipstick, you kind of have to decide, do you want something that's gonna be like super glued to your lips or do you want something that's more comfortable? And depending on your lifestyle or your work, what you do for a career, it just depends because if you have a job where you can't touch up your makeup for the entire day, you want something like this. But if you have something where you can reapply, then go something with like the Rouge Coco Flash. This color is beautiful. I love reds. I do tend to go towards more of the warm orangey reds, but a nice classic red is really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of today's lip swatches and I hope you got some information on the different lip products and lipsticks available with Chanel. There are other ones that I haven't um, purchased yet. There are some new ones here. I have the page open. I think it's called the Rouge Allure Liquid Powder. I tried those out in store and I really didn't like them, but everyone else seems to be in love. So I think there's some new colors that are gonna be available for fall, so I might test it out. I'm not sure. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know which one was your favorite lip color, which is your personal favorite Chanel lipstick color or lipstick formula. Let us know down in the comments. If you happen to enjoy today's video, please feel free to like and subscribe and also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. That way you can be informed whenever I post more wonderful luxury and high-end makeup videos. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.